constant volume gas thermometer. A constant volume gas thermometer registers an absolute pressure corresponding to 325 millimeters of mercury when in contact with water at the triple point. What pressure does it read when in contact with water at the normal boiling point? So this is our uh, container of gas at constant volume. We're reading its pressure. It's filled with an ideal gas and this is inserted into a container which is thermally insulated which has water at the triple point, a mixture of steam, ice and uh, liquid water. So uh, the thing we need to know here is under what conditions do we obtain triple point of water? We know that triple point of water is at 0 0.01 degrees Celsius. All right. And the corresponding pressure reading for the gas PG1 is 325 millimeters mercury. So 0 0.01 degrees Celsius is read to be 325 millimeters mercury by this constant volume gas thermometer. Now what is the temperature here T1 for the triple point? It's 273.15 plus 0 0.01 which is 273.16 Kelvin. And the temperature we are trying to reach, the boiling point of water, is at uh, 100 degrees C, which is 273.15 plus 100, 373.15 Kelvin. All right. Now, uh, what is the pressure uh, when we have the normal boiling point? So normal boiling point. Uh, implies that we have atmospheric pressure. Uh, one atmosphere pressure is 1.01 .01 times 10 to 5 pascals, which is the SI unit, and it corresponds to 760 millimeters mercury. Okay, so this is what we need to know. Therefore, the pressure PG1 is how many atmospheres 325 divided by 760 atmospheres if you wish now we have an ideal gas inside this uh, constant volume gas thermometer so we can use the ideal gas law the pressure of the gas for the first condition triple point of water volume of the gas is equal to number of moles universal gas constant times temperature T1. And if we divide this by the pressure of the gas at the normal boiling point of water, volume of the gas, this is equal to nRT2, this ratio will have the volumes cancel and also NR factors will cancel and we will find that the pressure for the normal boiling point of water will be uh, equal to T2 over T1 PG1 or PG1 over PG2 is T1 over T2 PG2 if I take this to the right hand side will be T2 over T1 PG1 T2 over T1, PG1. Um, now, this is uh, symbolically what will happen. Now, if I put this into numbers, uh, PG2, the pressure reading for the normal boiling point of water will be the temperature 373.15 Kelvin divided by 273.16 Kelvin T2 over T1 multiplied with 325 millimeters of mercury. So I will see that the pressure reading for the normal 
boiling point of water will be 444 millimeters mercury. So this will be the reading for this condition. Okay, so let's summarize. We have a constant volume gas thermometer which uh, registers 325 millimeters mercury pressure at the triple point of water, 0 0.01 degrees C, which is 273.16 Kelvin. When we go to a temperature of 373.15 Kelvin, which is the normal boiling point of water, what will be the pressure read by this con uh, constant volume gas thermometer? So what will be the reading here? Well, uh, the pressure times volume is NRT, that's the ideal gas law, because we have ideal gas inside this container. The volume is constant, the number of moles and universal gas constant are constant, so they cancel out. If we take the ratio of these two equations of state, PG1 over PG2 is T1 over T2. Here we're careful about using Kelvin temperatures, the SI units. Um, because the conversion between atmospheric pressure pascals and millimeters mercury is just a multiplication factor, you don't need to convert these pressures to pascals or atmospheric pressure. That's what I have realized here. So T2 over T1, 373.15 divided by 273.16 multiplied by PG1, 325 gives us our final answer, 444 millimeters mercury reading.